Yo, what's good, Crucial Pilot Just Mike? And like I said, man, final editions. We're dropping the day, and we're gonna check out this guy, man. 98 overall. Oh, I'm sorry, 99 overall, Muhammad Wilkerson. And um, like I said, man, we kind of been slacking on final editions. We usually knock them out, but just haven't been able to get around to getting these done. And I don't think I'll be able to get them done because I don't know if I have a lot of these pieces. You know, uh, the Le'Veon Bell just went away and Derek Johnson just went away I think we may have the Andy Dalton but these guys gonna be kind of impossible unless they open up those solos again you know what I mean but let's get into the Muhammad Wilkerson man I mean listen this guy has a few players that's kind of nice uh, we got Roosevelt Knicks fullback I think he's a rookie fullback and um, it's pretty nice man going for about 60k 91 speed with 92 run blocking. All right, really nice and 90 trucking at that. Okay, so pretty good, pretty good fullback man um, with 98 strength. Uh, I definitely could use him, but we already have a guy. You know, we already have Felton, and uh, you know he gets the job done for us. His speed is a little bit low, but he gets the job done for us. 92 run block on this guy, and uh, you know I could. I could update. I thought actually Michael Burton would actually get a final edition card. I mean, this card has been a workhorse. You know, I kind of used him instead of the Marcel Reese fullback, and he's just been great for me. I mean, look, this guy has 87 speed, right? 76 run blocking, which is decent, and 83 catch. And you can also put this guy at tight end and still have him go to work, man. Definitely a good pickup. Definitely a good pickup. But this guy, Roosevelt Knicks, pretty cool, man. Uh, let's look at the next guy on the list, and we got Paul Kruger. Now, this guy on regular head-to-head -head is a beast, all right? Um, never really played with any of his cards. I don't even know if he has that many cards in the game, but I know on just regular head-to-head, -head, number 99, Kruger gives me headaches, all right? I mean, he always gets in, gets behind the line, and sacks me, man. And this guy has some pretty dope stats here, man, aside from the speed, all right? He has 92 play rec, 92 tackling, 92 hit power, right? Um, 83 block shed, which is kind of low, all right? Kind of low on the block shed. And speed is definitely kind of low. I mean, listen, you know, at this time in mud. I would give giving this guy at least an 87 speed rating. 87 to 88. 83, I guess, is cool, man. I mean, listen, if you guys gonna use him right, I wouldn't definitely use him as a linebacker. Um or I would use him in the nickel where he's just blitzing, you know what I'm saying? And he's not really out there in coverage like that. I don't know what his coverage looks like, but I don't know, maybe he's a good zone. He has some good zone. But I definitely wouldn't have him in any man coverage. You know what I mean? And he, but, but you know what? He has good power move and good finesse move. A really great mix of that. So I definitely wouldn't mind having this guy on the line. Like, you know, and his zone coverage is decent. But listen, this guy's built for run, rushing the quarterback. That's what he does. Getting behind the line and causing havoc and breaking up run plays. Uh, let's see. At the next kid... We got Everson Griffin. Um, Low-key, they've been punching out all the Vikings defensive linemen. And we finally get Everson Griffin. And um, this guy going for about 40K right now. I'm pretty sure he's going to have some crazy stats, man. 87 speed. Ranks him at one of the top defensive. Oh, well, he's a right end. Okay, I was about to say defensive tackle. 87 speed. Really nice on the speed. Really nice power move and finesse move ratio, right? Anytime you have those two in conjunction with nice strength, you're going to have a, a pretty good guy. Now, his his strength is a little bit low at 86. Block shed's a little bit low at 86. I like to see his block shed be like 88, 89. Strength be like 91, 92. This guy will be perfect for the rest of the game, rest of Mutt. And um, I don't know, man. He's pretty nice, man. Pretty decent. Going for 39K, definitely a good pickup, man. Definitely a good pickup. And he's in our camp. I think I might actually give this guy a try. Um, now we get Randall Cobb, all right? We got a updated Randall Cobb. This guy's going for a ton of money. Let's see what his stats look like, though. 95 speed, pretty decent. 99 catching traffic. 98 catching. 
pretty nice man 98 elusiveness that's really good releases kind of kind of medium with 87 i want to know what this run block is usually final edition has good run block i mean jordan matthews really didn't have good run block well this guy doesn't either but you know kind of makes up for it in other areas you know 510 though 95 speed don't know if i necessarily want to pick this guy up don't really need a need for him i love my wide receivers to have good run block that's why you see me with moncrief with Iken, you know um amari cooper anybody with run block over 60 is really who i rock with because you know i like to put my wide receivers as tight ends so definitely definitely um needs more run block on that guy but this guy right here a lot of people love tyler eifert he's not on the market right now um and I, if he's not on the market, I'm pretty sure Muhammad Wilkerson is not on the market as well. But what we're going to try to go ahead and do is be great. See if we can pull some of these pieces. And I do have a veteran pack. But what we're going to do, we're going to do a few pro packs, right? Do a few pro packs to see if we can clutch out something. We're going to do two pro packs. And then that veteran pack that I have from doing the solos. And maybe we clutch out something, bro. Maybe we clutch out something. Just anything. Anything. You know? Get one more pro pack. And then we're going to go ahead and get this veteran pack popping. Hopefully, we can get glitchy, man. I haven't pulled anything out of packs for so long. It's just been forever. Since I got anything, man, out of packs. I don't know. Are you guys still pulling packs right now, Mutt? For me, that's kind of like... I do some pro packs enough, but I really haven't got a bundle bundle yet. Just haven't... I just don't see the reason in buying a bundle and getting a good card that you're only going to use for a month and a half. But I, I was doing some thinking. And, you know, usually Mutt is not going to probably get kicked off and pop into, like, around the first promo. So maybe around Thanksgiving or the most feared, you know, Halloween. So that's October, you know. So we have a while before Mutt really gets popping, you know what I'm saying. Of course, we're going to have the team of the week cards and stuff like that. But I'm thinking I might be still playing 16 in September, you know. And, and the only reason why I probably would do it is we don't get anything. I'm going to go ahead and. Try to be great. Oh, we gotta go to the binder. We reach binder limit. Okay. We can get rid of these right now. And what else? Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of him. I don't know. I was going to do pull one more pack. Maybe we pull one more pack. I'm going to pull one more pack, guys. Hopefully. <laughs> hopefully we can um, clutch out something. Let me go ahead and knock some, some of these. One of these guys off. We're going to put one more pack, which we probably, probably bought a final edition player with the coins we have. We have a lot of coins in surplus. Like, once we sell a few things, we'll, we'll have enough coins, you know. But for right now, we're kind of low. And I haven't really did any large quick sales, so. But hopefully we clutch out something, man. I mean, if we can clutch out anything... Last last card, guys. Nothing. We don't get anything. Well, we tried. But, yeah, man, I want to know what you guys are going to get. Like, like I said before, man, for me, I might still be playing Madden, you know, 16 in September. 
But the only reason why I really would do it is to play with all the cards that I didn't get a chance to play with during the regular season. You know, the golden tickets, stuff like that. You know, being able to get some of the boss killer cards that's out there for probably like, you know, 50K, 100K, something like that. Like, you know, Dion or something like that. Just to be able to say that I played with them because I really didn't get a chance to play with that many Ultimate Legends on the offensive side. Only but I think Michael Vick probably was only one and maybe Walter Payton I think and that was just a speed edition and no golden tickets at all you know so I want to have my chance at golden tickets this is my first year back on mutt and I want to I want to I want to play with a golden ticket too man pause that you know what I'm saying but that's it for this one man um Muhammad Wilkerson I'm pretty sure he's not on the market yet man it's just got out an hour ago but I will come back with a player review on Muhammad Wilkerson, you know, so you guys can check it out and, and whatnot. And um, also, who else? We got to do a review. I think on two players. So the Muhammad Wilkerson and the Tyler Eifert. Okay, we're going to go ahead and do a review on those in the next video. It's going to be coming up really shortly, guys. But that's it for this one. I will see you guys on the next one. Subscribe to the channel for more content like this. These are my newest pickups. Just giving you guys a little bit something else you guys can peruse through. These are my newest elite pickups, man. A lot of uh, old stuff being brought back out. Uh, trying to move this Richardson, you know. Speaking of Muhammad Wilkerson, trying to move this guy. Um, got him for like 20K and not have not been able to sell them for 40k but uh yeah man that's it for this one i will see you guys on the next one subscribe to the channel for more content like this man and let me know what you guys picked up today hit me in the comment box but that's it for this one i will see you guys on the next one until then it's your partner just mike stay up much love i'm out peace